there. I'm Sunny from the Institute of Aquaculture. Welcome to Diwata Channel. In this video, I will be guiding you to the step-by-step -step procedure of fish brain extraction. Are you ready? The nervous system is responsible for almost all aspects of fish biology, such as reproduction, digestion, circulation, and locomotion. The brain, together with the spinal cord, make up the central nervous system of fish and the different regions of the brain are responsible for specific tasks. The brain is composed of major regions. As we proceed with the dissection, you can see these regions as swellings. The major regions that are obvious in fish brain include the cerebrum, the optic lobe, and cerebellum. On the other hand, there are also smaller outgrowths such as the pineal and the pituitary. The pineal can be difficult to locate and can easily be destroyed on dissection, while the pituitary is relatively easy to find on dissection. Before we start, here are some things that you will need for the dissection process. Fish. You can use any species of fish. It is advised, however, to select a large fish for easier removal of brain. Smaller fish tend to have smaller brains, which are easily damaged during dissection. Dissecting kit. Yours should include a pair of scissors, scalpel, forceps, and pins. You may also use a sharp blade in exposing the brain from the cranium. Dissecting tray or pan. Gloves and goggles for protection. 70% ethanol inside a vial. So this is where you will fix the brain and preserve it. Weighing scale. Ruler. Tissue or towel wash bottle or spray bottle, and a lab notebook for record keeping. Okay, let's start. We'll start by taking note of the morphometric data from the fish such as its standard length in centimeters, total length, and total weight in grams. Write these details in your lab notebook. Take note also of the fish species and if possible, the estimated age of the fish. First, cut off the head near the first vertebra. This will allow you to handle the head better, which is the focus of your dissection. Next, remove all the soft tissues surrounding the skull. These consist mostly of muscle tissues. Remove as much tissues as you can. This will help expose the cranium of the fish. Depending on the size of the fish you have, removing the brain can be challenging. The techniques shown here may not work for your fish. That's okay. The goal is to simply keep the brain intact as much as possible. Carefully break the skull open with your forceps and remove as much of the bone as possible. The trick here is to not go too deep that you will slice off the top of the brain and not go too shallow because the brain will still be covered by the skull. You may also use a scalpel. Be careful in doing this step to avoid injuring yourself. Remove the tissue surrounding the forebrain, being careful not to damage the olfactory bulbs. Once the dorsal part of the skull is removed, start working on removing the ventral portions of the skull. At this point, the brain is now more or less exposed and the major parts are seen carefully remove the brain. However, if it doesn't come off readily, do not force it. The brain is probably still attached with the cranial nerves. Instead, try to expose the brain more. Once removed, place the brain in the vial containing 70% ethanol for preservation. And that's it for today's episode on fish brain extraction. Don't feel bad if you damage the brain during dissection. Like most laboratory activities, brain extraction is a skill. As you practice, your skill will improve. Let's learn together online, only here at Diwata channel. If you have any questions or just want to share something, just comment down below. Like and subscribe. Adios.